Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to pair your Gear S2 to your Android device. Now, this will change slightly because currently right now the Gear Manager is only available on the Galaxy App Store. However, Samsung has already promised that it will work with all Android devices. What does that mean? Well, it simply means you'll be able to download the Gear Manager from the regular app store on the Google Play Store, it just doesn't have it yet. So as soon as it does, then you'll be fine. But for now, we're just gonna open the gear manager and show you how to pair it. So you're going to click manage devices or it will just scan the first time. I've already had a device paired to it before. So I'm gonna pair a new device and it's gonna find it and you can just pair by matching the same name. That's what I'll do now. And when this will find it, it's going to tell you, hey, the Note 5 is wants to pair with this one. Is that okay? Yes. And now it's pairing. So it really is just this simple to uh, first pair it. Now, it will download some software. So you're going to want to make sure you're in a good Wi-Fi connection, especially if uh, the gear itself needs some updating, then it'll take a longer. So just make sure to give some time for that. Now, once uh, it goes through this process, we're going to agree to a bunch of stuff uh, that Samsung wants us to agree to, and that's just in order to use the device itself. Uh, now it's connecting and pairing, and should uh, have pushed the update. Now, as you can see, there was only really one uh, full update needed on this pairing. However, if you're getting it at a much later time, then yes, you can see a lot more uh, steps in terms of uh, how many it has to go through to set up. Sometimes it might have five updates. It just depends on when you purchased it. So we're going to agree to this, agree to that, and then move on. You can set up a, a lock if you want. I just don't see the point of it. I just don't really need it myself but it just allows you to do it so that if uh, someone were to steal your gear watch, they couldn't activate it without your Samsung account and password. And then once we hit next, we will now be able to set up which apps get notifications. Now what it's asking me right now is I use a third party notification app, which is not the regular text message app. Now it warns me, look, you can use this, but if you do, it's not going to uh, display messages the way regular messages will be. I'm okay with that because I like Hangouts and it's actually pretty compatible with it, so I'm fine with that. I can scroll down though and choose now which app notifications will be highlighted. So choose you which ones you want to be highlighted and then you're all set. The watch is already paired to it. And once you choose your notifications, you're all set. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.